Can I ask? Yeah, tell me. Sister, in case the other person I'm praying for with the vision is not in the word of God, what do I do? Say the unsaved loved ones pray you. Okay. You have to say the unsaved loved one, loved one prayer, make a vision that he is already in the word. Look, look in your spiritual eye that he is already in the word. She is already in the word. Uh, they are lifting their hands up, praying to God. They are going and teaching the word of God. They are humble enough. They are with the Bible. This is all we have to see. Make a vision. But if okay. you are going to contradict your vision by your words, you have lost the battle. That battle yes. can never Negative. be won. Negative vision. Yeah. Thank you, sister. Anyone? Any more questions? <clears throat> Then show the person in Calvary, then close your eyes with your imagination and his imagination should become one and that manifestation takes place, right? Yeah. First, okay. as I said, you have yes. to be, first of all, you should know the scriptures. Yes. Your starting is with the scriptures. Only after knowing the scriptures can you build your confidence, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, without without a tailor knowing to cut a dress, can he go and cut any material? Not at no. all. Then he has to first to learn to cut the None. material. If somebody wants uh, gathers, what to do? Somebody want frill, what to do? Somebody want gazing, what to do? Somebody want an A line, what to do? Somebody want a flare dress, what to do? Somebody wants like Barbie doll dress, what to do? So the tailor knows how to do because he has learned. No. Which scripture to apply where? Yes. Okay. Suppose somebody is coming to you. I want a. I want a job. Huh? Come on, say. By the wounds of Jesus, I am healed. No. Baba, but I want a job. Oh, you say. By the wounds of Jesus, I am healed. Is it? Is it going to uh, apply? Is... No. 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 For it's him, a healing it's, scripture. It is Philippians four nineteen. My God supplies all my needs. Yes. Right. Yeah. All so my needs. For... Yes. For that, you should know the scriptures. Unless and until you know the yes. scripture, unless and until you are attending sessions, unless and until you are writing down notes, unless and until you are taking interest to go and revise those notes, now faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when you hear the word of God, it becomes logos. That those I yes. made y'all understand this logos. Yes. Logos means when we, when we are doing the work. Yeah. Okay. Logos means when we are doing the work. When we are doing the work. Rema means when the Holy Spirit does the work. So when we are when we are hearing the word the first time, hearing and hearing. So when we are doing it for the first time means. We are hearing what we are talking. We are hearing what we are repeating. We are hearing what we are speaking. Now, the second hearing is when the Holy Spirit speaks to us in a situation. Now, when we are into a situation, the Holy Spirit is speaking to us. So, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Okay, by the word means you cannot mix up scriptures. You cannot say by the wounds and stripes of Jesus, you will be healed. No, that is not by the word. By the word is you were healed or you are healed. Okay. So we have to know our scriptures. Only after we know our scriptures, only after we know the explanation of those scriptures, only after we actually live those scriptures now you are filling with that compassion now when you are having the knowledge of the scriptures okay because you know about the scriptures now you are walking in confidence now hosea 4 6 what does it say my people are destroyed due to lack of knowledge so now what you are doing when you are learning from the session, you are gaining knowledge, you are taking knowledge. So when you are taking knowledge, now that knowledge is going to bring you confidence. Now you say, huh, that day Papa had done this. 
he spoke like this he took this scripture and he said like this now i am also going to do the same thing now what you are doing you are imitating him when you are imitating him you know that the result will be the same and now why the result is the same because you are walking and talking in that same attitude that you saw when you are also using that attitude of yours that adamancy okay that you know you like how you were like you know they give that example many a times that if a stray dog come in your house how do you how will you treat that stray dog if you don't want that stray dog to be in your house how will you treat it you just say hey listen ha sh sh go go you'll show him the door and you'll shout and scream in the same way when you when the enemy comes in front of you you need to do that in your spiritual battle in your spiritual battle you have to just show the enemy he is of no value in front of you he is a kachra you have to show this to the enemy that he cannot have any dominion over you now when that attitude comes surely that enemy has to go away because you are taking the authority of jesus and he very well knows that jesus defeated him on the cross so when you were speaking you know what you should do the moment you are saying in the name of jesus i take authority and i command you to go out of this body look at the cross in your spiritual eye look at the cross because the enemy can see what you are seeing because you are talking to the enemy now look at the cross and show that enemy you are defeated on the cross so now there is no chance out so when you do that and the enemy has to go with your confidence but if you are going to doubt and you are going to waver then it will not work the enemy is more see they are like i always say you know they are the, like the marketing guy they know they also come with strategies the enemy come with strategies and that is why we can see so many families breaking we can see so many sicknesses we can see so many cheating we can see robberies we can see all uh, uh, all the wrong things going on sometimes even in in online suppose there is something online there is something bad also in online so the enemy comes with his own strategy to devour you but if you do not use your strategy to push him out he is going to make you also dance so better understand that we need to show the enemy where is his place his place is there showing him defeated on the cross so whenever you speak like this you first see and you have to in your attitude show him listen your place is there there you were defeated can you see can you see the cross you defeated there you have to say this in your spiritual mind for example when i had taken up a deliverance case okay now that girl was screaming and shouting and howling and she was literally she couldn't take the word of god the moment the till the time i was teaching her she was very calm very calm she was taking down my notes also the moment i started praying for her she started screaming at the top of her voice and she couldn't take that because now that enemy started devouring her torturing her but it was my first time but i did not give up i did not let the enemy trouble me and i just said holy spirit of god i love you jesus i love you thank you holy spirit for i am going to re- release this girl out of the clutches of the enemy so i was see it was my first time nobody was with me i was alone okay but looking at look why, from where did i gain my confidence looking at papa if he can do it if he can even go and hug a person who is who is uh, getting tormented by the evil one he goes and hugs that person if it's a male he goes and hugs so if he can do it if he is not afraid then what can the evil one do to me when jesus is with me when i be, it all depends on my faith it all depends on what i believe it all depends on what i call myself 
if you are the daughter of a politician if you are the son of a politician if you are the son of a prime minister if you are a daughter of a prime minister are you going to walk like a coward on the road or are you going to walk with your chest out showing hey listen you better don't talk to me too much you don't know who i am does our attitude not change so when we can change our attitude in the worldly realm then why can't we change our attitude in the spiritual realm that same attitude we need to use with the enemy not with the people with the enemy because now when we talk to him in in that attitude he knows where his place is he knows that we know what we are he knows that we know whose we are you know why does he devour people why does he cheat people because they don't know who they are whose they are and whose children they are and who's who is their father because they don't know but we know and when we know we need to show him that who we are we can't fight against flesh and blood in front of flesh and blood you have to humble yourself you know people do the opposite people want to show themselves great when they are in flesh and blood uh, it's like i also want to show you what you can do ha huh? what you're telling me like this wait i will also show you we are talking in flesh and blood which will never help never we are the worst worst losers we are going to be losers for life and we are only going to cry cry and cry and cry why god is not listening to me it's not god's mistake it's your mistake many people are there who come to me even after knowing the word they literally even after telling them no don't be like this be like this talk like this see like this make a video ready to do all that the moment the enemy shows them something different now they are shaking oh no this is happening because they are looking at the physical the moment you see in the physical the moment you see in the sight and not faith you are losing it losing it that very moment you're not even the future losing it that very moment so there are many people who who need to literally build their faith first unless now for example if we don't build up faith and suddenly we go to pray over somebody that somebody may not get healed then what happens to your confidence you go with confidence but you have not studied the word uh, i know the scripture i will talk the scripture are but study the word no suppose if a question comes to you what will you say you need to build your relation up so much with the holy spirit that now that soft word of the holy spirit has to be heard by you the moment you hear that soft word because holy spirit never screams he will never shout he will speak softly and that is the catch the moment you hear that softness and you hold that word and now you have ignored that other words that came in your mind now that is the catch and once you take it now you see how things happen so let us learn our scripture so thoroughly let us attend sessions and that's why i say even when you want to learn something even if you see half an hour it's enough but go on repeating it four to five times so that it becomes by heart it goes in your heart and now you know what to speak when you get that write down notes make it a point unless and until you labor it's not going to happen this this spiritual battle needs labor just as children go to uh, school they need to labor they need to learn it by heart write down the exam paper and go to the next level in the same way we also know, learn, need to learn it by heart keep it in our hearts when the trial come when the tribulation come that is the exam pass the test go to the next level so 
what is what is so much uh, no it is not at all difficult the difficult is in our mind many people on the forum must be saying oh my god this so i cannot do it is very difficult for me no the difficult is in your mind you are made in the likeness of the lord if you are going to speak negative for yourself you are insulting what the what the lord has done for you you are telling him no 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 i am not made in your likeness but that's why i cannot do it if we are made in the likeness and image of the lord we never knew it before but we know it now and there is no age bar even if you are 80 years old you can still take the authority even if you are 10 years old you can still take the authority nowhere in the bible it is written only a person who is graduate only a person who is uh, completed 21 years only a person who is uh, for uh, 15 years in the ministry can do that nowhere it is written a person who has come morning in the word can do a miracle in the evening it all depends on our, on our heart condition it all depends on how much we are ready to learn on how much we are ready to keep it in our eyes that is what proverbs 420 tells us keep the word in front of your eyes do not let it go from your eyes so even if you are looking at a situation at a circumstance now that word is coming in front of you and sticking over there and you are saying no lord this is the word i am clinging to it and this is the word that is going to bring this manifestation going to bring this breakthrough so once we understand this life is easy for you and for the person you are praying for so learn scriptures attend sessions take down notes labor and now once you are done with that i'm telling you the moment and and don't wait till you become a scholar okay now many people will wait 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 i'm learning now let me let me learn for more three months let me learn for more six months after that i'll do no no you will never do never you will never do i never knew what is the meaning of deliverance okay i never knew i only saw i never knew it how it would be okay when i went i literally had to do it i did not say wait 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 let me more six months let me see more cases and only after that i'll do no i took up the challenge i took up the challenge it was papa's challenge given on melbourne to somebody he didn't speak to me but you know what i do when i okay i'll tell you what i'll tell you about me whenever i listen to a session i never think that i have got more 50 people with me i always think that i am alone and he is talking directly to me he is telling me the moment i understand that he is telling me and now on melbourne he had told somebody that in this week i want you to do a deliverance case okay the moment he said that now what would happen to me i told holy spirit of god i want to do a deliverance case on melbourne he told somebody write down notes and show me that you have done it you know what i did i also took down notes i sent him the picture and i forwarded it to him i said papa i also did notes okay so i took instructions not for others i took instructions seeming that is directly to me whenever somebody had told me to do an opening prayer or a closing prayer i never hesitated never because for me it was not that person for me it was god for me it was god is telling me through that person do the opening prayer do the closing prayer and this is how i built up my confidence if i would have also been in that shell that no 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 i can't do i'm very shy 
शाइन इज कम फ्रॉम द डेवल प्लीज डोंट एंटरटेन हिम प्लीज डोंट एंटरटेन हिम शाइन इज फ्रॉम द डेवल He is very happy if you are shy. The Bible is clearly clearly states that you need to open your mouth. You need to be bold. You need to go and speak the word of God to people so that you bring people in the kingdom of God. Nowhere in the Bible it is written you sit and you be shy. I am there for you. You you keep you keep feeling shy. nowhere and if it is there please show me because i don't know the scripture i need to know when you got the holy spirit the boldness automatically comes in you automatically if you are able to talk to a person imagine that is the holy spirit in you it is not you if i can talk so much it's not me believe me after this session i'm going to go and listen to my own recording again really i i listen to myself again so i need to learn even what i speak i need to learn because i know and i know that sometimes when i speak it is only the holy spirit when i go to my past sessions today morning also i went to some sessions i said did i speak this really i myself get amazed and then i say holy spirit you are really a genius how can you just speak through me like this that today even i am learning from my own session so so just pay just pay attention on all that you do i am telling you the moment you start feeding yourself with the word of god you are just allowing the holy spirit to move in you and do the kingdom of god work in you and that is what we have to do so let's do it let's do it together thank you jesus praise you jesus heavenly father in the name of jesus thank you for this beautiful teaching lord i came with something else you taught something else that's so nice thank you lord for you are taking over every moment you are making your children know how to go forward how to move forward how to be confident how to come do the work of the lord, kingdom of god just as jesus did we we need to do we need to continue his ministry we need to do his ministry thank you jesus that as we are having that understanding we labor only to have faith because everything else once we speak out of our mouth and speak with confidence and attitude it has to happen because we use your name in power and authority and you are the head of all the principalities over darkness and authorities thank you jesus that you are there for us thank you lord that you never leave us nor forsake us thank you lord it is you that who go before us and you level our mountains you don't allow us to face anything bad because you are the one already going before us and facing it cleaning it for us thank you very much dear lord for this understanding for this love we ask in the mighty and glorious name of jesus amen amen and amen amen and amen thank you amen amen thank you jesus